Uh, my name is Keith Payne. Uh, I've been paddling 40-something years. I got interested in canoeing in the first place through a couple of books that I read. Uh, Newfoundland and its Untrodden Ways by John Milas and Lure to Labrador Wild by Dylan Wallace. In those books, the guys talked about getting into the wilderness with a canoe, and that really interests me. I learned to paddle by watching Bill Mason uh, and his films, the, the Path of the Paddle series. Uh, the National Film Board had that series there, and I would go in, get the films out, sit down by myself, and watch the film from beginning to end. Then I'd go practice, and come back and watch it again. I did that over and over again. I wanted to do the Maine River uh, because I hadn't done a river in a while. I hadn't done the Maine in quite a while. About three years ago, I had uh, fallen and broken my shoulder, and it took me this long to recover from it. So now I was now I was ready to go, and uh, of course I wanted to tackle the Maine. Uh, I might never get to do it again. While I was able to do it, I wanted to do it now. Starry eyes and cellophane, she takes her walk, she makes her plan. A truck bails down the avenue, there's broken glass, a missing pew at church. Maybe I was wrong, maybe time's too strong. Are we falling further? The lights to take us home when everyone is gone. Are we breaking title to ask the question why? We live and then we die. I think I'm fine. Maybe I'll write you from the other side. The main river is special in a lot of ways. It's a wilderness river and it'll stay a wilderness river forever now because about 20 years ago. It was designated Canadian Heritage River. Uh, the Maine starts in the mountains. It starts as a series of four alpine lakes, and then transitions into a, a rock garden, which is a challenging paddle. And that then becomes this big, luscious, delta-like area. And from there, then, it plunges to the ocean. It drops about 600 meters to the ocean in a 24 kilometer span. I was really thrilled at the thoughts that I was, I was going to paddle with, with, uh, with this particular bunch of guys. Uh, I, I, knew, I knew all the guys, I uh, paddled with them before, uh, and I had taught them before, uh, most of them, but I never paddled a main with them. And I knew, first of all, they were quite capable of handling whatever the main had to throw at them, but also I knew they'd love it. So a uh, chance for me with the paddle with these guys was just, it was just wonderful. My name's Jeff Martin. I know Keith Payne from quite a few years back. I'd say probably close on 10 years. I think over the years, there's been a bond with Keith and I. And when I moved here to Newfoundland, we started paddling quite a bit, and he became my, you know, our mentor. I was really impressed with Jeff right, right from the very beginning. He was uh, kind of a stickler for details, like I am, especially when it comes to paddling. And uh, so him and I uh, shared that passion for paddling. I love the paddling. Yeah. Canoeing, you know, is, is essentially a social activity. And especially when you do an overnight trip or a multi-day trip, you paddle, you have some adventures, then you sit around the campfire and you, and you replay it all, all again and then, uh, and then get ready for the next day. It's, uh, it just adds that dimension to it. Go over with no speed and get pushed down that, down that 
there's always something to learn uh, with, with canoeing. And uh, those guys, uh, they were my students at one time. Uh, they've done a lot of paddling since then. And so right now, uh, we, we learn from each other. I think, uh, you know, there's always things that we can learn from Keith. Keith has been paddling canoes for most of his lifetime, and he's always eager to learn uh, new skills and always willing to share those with the rest of us. I got to be a canoeing instructor in the beginning in order to become a better paddler. There's a saying that uh, a week of instruction is worth a lifetime of paddling, and I wanted to learn. So uh, I took uh, some canoe courses from a guy who became a very good friend of mine, a fellow by the name of Kevin Redman, who was the first master canoe instructor in, in Newfoundland. And when I got a chance to do a canoe instructor's course uh, from him, I, I jumped at that chance. The challenge with the main river is always water levels. If it's too high, then you can't do it. You can do it in a, in a kayak, but you can't do it in a canoe. And if it's too low, you can't do it. What it means if the water level is too low is you might have to change your strategy. If you're a paddler who's used to uh, uh, running and gunning down a river, that's going to get you in trouble in the main if the water is low. You can still paddle it, but you're going to have to slow down. Tomorrow um, we have the canyon left to do. It's quick thinking, it's mentally challenging as well as physically challenging. And tomorrow's gonna be a big day. We've got probably close to 25, 26K to do to get to the, to the ocean tomorrow. The canyon is, is the section of the river that I paddle most because you can do it in a day. But it's also the most exciting part. It's just, there's no break, it's downhill all the way to the ocean. If you're an experienced paddler, you can, you can have a fun day mostly paddling.
First, when we entered the canyon section of the main, we were seeing this as a, as a thrilling run and gun down the mountain type of thing, right? But with the water level so low, uh, we had to rethink our strategy and, and go back to the, the kind of paddling that I learned from Bill Mason videos years ago. Bill Mason, he, he perfected the art of back paddling and going slower than the current instead of faster than the current. Uh, that's not in vogue with these guys anymore, right? I would say they followed us and uh, I got caught looking down river and Keith and I went over a couple big rocks and I think they went over the same ones and caught them and they flipped them. And here they are up river now. And, uh, we're just waiting for them to... Raft on, he needed to cool off. And uh, make their way down. To, to line and, and just take everything uh, a bit slower, uh, you know, actually you know, worked out really well. So I guess there was something left for Keith to teach us. You see what I see? Holy blue sky. Where the hell did that come from? The final canyon uh, phase of the river typically takes five to six hours. Uh, it took us about 11. Uh, you know, we got off the water in uh, the dark and something that we all learned from Keith was you know, don't complain about things. Just you got to get them done. So just do them. Good I love paddling the main river. I love this trip. You know, you, you paddle from, in 57 kilometers, you paddle from, from source to sea. You see every aspect of a river uh, that you can be. This trip was, was maybe my last trip, but um, it might have been my best one. We took a little longer to do it than I normally do it. Like I've done that trip in two days. We took five days. We camped at all the beautiful campsites that, that the other times doing it, I would just go on by and look at them longingly. This time we didn't. We stopped, we camped, we soaked it all in. And we, with a bunch of guys who just loved every minute of it. Right? It, was, it was really a special trip. think you're dying or something. I will I'll make sure they don't think you're dying or that, that's, that, that's what Wendy Wendy said when she when she read yeah. read the stuff there. She said they're making you out to be a decrepit old man. <laughs> I know that's not